Hey there, it's the slot machine here. And today we're gonna be playing on Win Super Jackpot C I C E I video poker machine. Let's put some coins in and see what happens. Alrighty, both coin in. Let's see what we can do. Nice. Jack for battle. This machine so far seems pretty good. It is a 1981 Casino Electronic Ink machine from Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's see what we can do now. Nice, Jack for battle. Pay that one. Alrighty, just got the door to open. It was a pretty diff it was pretty difficult to open up because of how the lock works. And now we're inside of the machine. Right here, we have our CRT monitor. And below, it's kind of hard to see, but there's the CRT monitor board. Sorry about the video being so dark. And right here, up here, you can see it right here, is the speaker. Unfortunately, this machine does not have a audio, uh, does not have the audio hooked up because I believe it does not have a sound chip. Right here is the back plane that connects the speaker and the monitor together. Let me get, let me see if I can get the image a little clearer. Here it is, the back plane. And farther out, and over here is the button panel controls. These right here register when you push a button these vials right below send the signal to light up the button whenever the button has been pushed. It is kind of confusing to explain. And right here, move over a little bit to the right, to the left I mean, and here you have the hopper. What happens is you put a nickel in and the hopper goes like click, click, click. You register that nickel has passed through. But leading over to the right is, is all the wiring network that connects to the MPU right here. So it's kind of hard to see, it's pretty dark. But this is the MPU tray. I will power off the machine and see if I can part the MPU so we can see it in better detail. And right below the MPU is the hopper. And over here is the open door switch, some power fuses, a, a hand pay button right here, the button that you push if you get a hand pay, and a dispute button if a player decides to argue with the casino host, right here is the test button that you push and it goes to the test screen. It is pretty hard to distinguish, but, but these zeros and ones represent the inputs and outputs. For example, when I push the door button, the, the, see the one right in the center of all the zeros? It changes from zero to one on, off, on, off. And same here with the audit switch. Oh no, never mind. Let's try the test switch. To get out of test mode, what you must do is kind of confusing. It took me a while to figure out, but you must push the first three discard buttons all at the same time, and you're out of the test mode. Be right back. I'll power off the machine so I can power out the MPU. Alrighty. With the machine powered off, we can now power, power out the MPU, which is a two-handed job, but I'll do that real quick how to put down the camera, and I'll be right back again. Just realized that I made a mistake earlier in the video. This is actually the back plane that you're looking at right now, where everything connects. And back here, you can see where all the wires connect. Sorry, it is so dark. But what I'd recommend to do is to pause the video, take a screenshot of, the, of this right now, and go to Instagram or any of you know, any photo editing apps and increase the brightness So you can see what's behind that in more detail Alrighty on the MPU What we got here is our game chips the chips that are, that the chips that run the poco game below them Are to be what I believe are version chips. Do they dictate the version of the game right here? I believe I like your, I like your sound can I like your setting on the board. Sorry, it's upside down. 
I believe this is like the payout settings and like the options for like sound or not. Right here, I'm not sure what it is. And up here are probably transformers, and AC, DC controls, controls that control like the electricity that reaches certain components of the boat so that did not so that it's not not shot out. Not sure what these little white circle things are for. And right here, going down a little bit, is what I believe to be the voltage battery. That's the battery that allows this MPU to store the random access memory and like and like some da like data like and other data like the date and time, and like how many coins were played and how many games were played, even without power or electricity. And right here. I believe that this is another battery, but I'm not sure entirely sure what it is from. Please let me know if anything comes off as confusing confusing in the comments below. So here you got it, the board. Oh wait, before before we put the board back in, back here are the connectors that connects the board into the back plane that I was explaining earlier. Got the board back in. Got to make sure it is fully pushed back, otherwise the machine will not work. Let's power up and see what happens. Hopefully it works. Alrighty, looking good so far. Ah, what a relief. I always get nervous whenever I'm removing circuit boards and putting them back in because the, some of the components are very easy to break and the damage when reinserting the circuit board back into the machine. So fortunately, the machine is working. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you saw today. Today, And if you wish to see more videos like this, I hope you all have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.